What's up everybody, it's me Kelly C here. I'm doing a quick movie review about um Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban. Now the plot of this movie where you basically go into holidays of the year and he, and it's year three because um it's where um Harry Potter was trying to be the special the special one who's this like a celebrity or whatever, but Daniel Radcliffe was in Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban a long while ago, and it was really a great movie. And um, it's kind of like it was a real powerful movie when um, he did Expecto Patronum for all sudden of the years ago. But his powers was like of the wand and stuff. It was really too much for this movie because this movie takes lots of really good action and scariness, but people don't never done this before because this is kind of like it was new around here. So that's why they made a special spell for these powers for Harry Potter and stuff. And it's really a great movie, so not to worry, it's great PG. It's not, I don't think it's not PG-13, but it's a, but it's a great, good movie. So let me talk about this movie, because in a way, I keep on mush mouth a little bit. <laughs> okay, let me calm down. Now, um, Harry Potter and the Prison Mask Man, um, my favorite part of the scene is where he did Expecto Patronum in, um, in um, Tementos, and... The Mentos were evil. It's kind of like Baltimore size or whatever. It's kind of like they suck human blood tissues and stuff. Like almost like the Terminator or whatever. But it's kind of like it's gross. And it's disgusting or whatever. Because I don't never noticed that Harry Potter wanted to be scared of that Tormento. Because he was so scared. And then Wrong Wheezy. Wrong Wheezy was trying to know his pet was missing. And then his pet bite him in the hand and stuff or in the pointy hand or whatever but it, it was so it was so crazy then Hermione Granger just punched um, Draco Malfoy that was my favorite part of the scene and then I like that scene because um, it was I have a crush on Hermione Granger and it was really too much she's already like maybe about 14 years old or 16 years old in Harry Potter and Prince of Black Man. but um, it, was, it was really great and then Harry Potter was like was like doing expecto but drawing them out loud because I can't scream out loud because my mom's asleep. So um this is early in the morning when I um it's seven thirty in the morning so that way I can talk to you about Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Az Azkaban. And um yeah. So I like about this movie it's it's one of my favorite movie of all time. It's not really one of my favorite movie. My favorite movie was Harry Potter and the Goblin of Fire, but I'll show you the reviews about that soon. But uh, I'm showing you this review because everybody knows that you like this Harry Potter, so I'm just showing you this review for Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And, um, yeah. It's got lots of special features and stuff. It's got lots of interviews for the cast and stuff. It's got lots of behind the scenes of the making of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. And it's got lots of games and activities and stuff. And it's got all kinds of stuff. No matter what happens, it always be on DVD and stuff. So it's gonna be on Blu-ray too, and it's gonna be everywhere. But now that's it for my movie review, and I really wanted to say that I do like this movie, but I'm gonna give this a C plus because this is like maybe it was great, and it's not really great for me. It was great for everybody. It was okay, and it was okay. So I'll just sell it, make it. A C plus, so that would be great. So then I gotta go and then enjoy this review and then subscribe me and like it or unlike it and please put comments. Just make it appropriate and do nice things for your world. So see you later and the Kelly T fans will always be with you. Peace.